we have experienced that if a force is applied it will undergo deformation means some change is going to take place so strain is nothing but deformation upon original deformation or the original dimension so deformation per unit dimension is called as the strain strain is a unitless parameter how we'll see further but first let us classify the different types of the strains there is a linear strain it is also called as the longitudinal strain there is lateral strain it is exactly opposite to the longitudinal strain there is shear strain which is experienced because of the shear stress there is thermal strain which is experienced because of the temperature and there is volumetric strain means it is going to occur some change in volume let's one by one discuss each type of the strain now if i talk more about strain on basis of what type of force is applied then i can easily classify the strains in this manner if i'm talking about tensile force means if the stress is tensile then the corresponding strain is going to be a tensile strain if i'm applying a tensile force then tensile stress will act and because of that the strain which has occurred is called as the tensile strain but if i'm applying a compressive force then the compressive stress will be acting and the corresponding strain which will occur is called as the compressive strain same way if i am going to apply a shear force then shear stress is going to act and the corresponding strain is going to be called as the shear strain now one by one with the help of a proper diagram let us understand the different types of strain the first one is the linear strain the word itself explains you linear means it is going to act in the longitudinal direction in the linear direction now you can see in this direction in this figure there are two equal and opposite pull forces so if on a body two equal and opposite pull forces are applied then the previous original dimension was l but after the application of force there is some increase in the length and that increase in the length i can call it as extension which is delta l means because of application of some force there is some sort of deformation that has occurred so if i want to write down mathematically linear strain is change in length upon original length you can see here change in length is delta l which is written over here and original length is l which is written over here so linear strain is change in length upon original length strain is a unitless parameter you can see over here the dimension of the change in length is also mm and the dimension of the original length is also mm both will get cancelled so strain is a unitless parameter let us move further to another type of strain the other type of strain is called as the lateral strain it is exactly opposite kind of the strain to the linear strain it is also denoted by the word which is called as the transverse strain if on a circular bar if i am applying the force in the linear direction then in that direction the stress which is acting is called as the linear strain but now i am going to act perpendicular to it i am going to see perpendicular to that direction so here if the force is applied the pull force is applied then the diameter originally was d but because of the application of the force the diameter has now reduced a little bit so decrease in diameter has taken place so if i want to define the lateral strain then i can define it and denote it by the symbol epsilon dash where it is change in diameter which is denoted by sigma d divided by original diameter which is d so this is the original deformation which has taken place means now the diameter which is there it has now reduced so lateral strain is change in diameter to original diameter why i am talking about diameter because i have taken a circular bar what if i am taking a 
bar which is not circular but it is rectangular then what would be the lateral strain let us find out you can see here now in this diagram now i have replaced the circular bar with a rectangular bar so obviously the dimensions of the bar are going to be in terms of the width that is b so you can see here i have applied two equal and opposite compressive forces the push forces are applied so if i am applying the push force then the length is this but after that the decrease in length is going to take place so here the change in width is also going to take place so now if i want to define lateral strain then it is change in width which is denoted by delta b to the original width which is b so epsilon dash lateral strain is change in width to the original width same